This is what kids love to do, right? Poof. Poof. Puff balls, chanterelles, and turkey tails. This is said to be one of the best mushroom seasons anyone can remember. And Roseanne Vanny knows a thing or two about a fun guy. She operates outdoor discoveries where she ventures out on wild mushroom safaris. The Okanagan is on the doorstep of the world's greatest diversity of fungi or macro fungi, which is the, the term for the mushrooms. So that's the whole Columbia mountain range. So but what makes our doorstep so great this year? So starting in the end of August, that bitter rain and then gradually dropping temperatures, put to, you know, a few days when it doesn't rain, a little bit more rain and gradually temperatures going down in the inter intermittent rain is absolutely perfect for the mushrooms to bloom. You know what, this one is one that you'd have to do a little bit more identification on. Proper identification and the right guidebook will help those who are considering foraging for mushrooms from picking a poisonous toadstool. And honey mushrooms are the ones that, you know, depending on where they grow around here, like if they're in the hillsides around the Okanagan without any hemlock trees, choice, edible. And they can grow profusely. But if they're in the forest, you know, like the mountains to the east of us, where there's lots of hemlock trees, it's their relationship with their roots of those trees that makes them indigestible. With more people on the hunt for wild mushrooms, Vanny is concerned about the way they're being harvested and the effect on the environment. People are just running around and stomping all over everything in the forest and not even caring or knowing, you know, what's, what good the, the different mushrooms are in the forest too. Um, and they can be picked unsustainably to, to the point that we don't have certain species anymore. So a way to fix the problem, according to Van e, is for those who are interested in mushrooms to grow their own. So there's a number of variety of wild types of mushrooms that we actually can grow in our own yards or sheds or whatever and enjoy those ourselves too. To go on your wild mushroom safari, contact Van e at outdoordiscoveries.com. Jen Zielinski in Vernon for Castanet News.